2017 the Range Rover Evoc convertible, fog swaddled Monterey is bursting with classics during Pebble Beach weekend. A Porsche 356 coupe, subtly perfect in gloss silver over deep red, and a Maserati set in front of a sushi joint. Across the street, a BMW E9 naps while its owner's shop. The few pedestrians here on Lighthouse Avenue are gawking at the Range Rover gliding by. We haven't driven this British Chimera in the US yet, our first drive was in the UK, so we took this opportunity to drive the Evoc convertible around the peninsula for the weekend to see what the reaction on the street, from real live Americans, would be. Even in municipal fleet white with as anonymous a black soft top as they come, this thing routes bystanders to the curb and sends out tractor beams to draw their eyes to its flanks. You'd think these people had never seen a convertible crossover before. If you want anonymity, park yourself in an orange mirror next to a white Evoc Cabrio. That extra metal and the top itself are the reasons the convertible is a few hundred pounds heavier than the last Evoc coupe we drove. It's still spry thanks to the 240 horsepower turbocharged inline 4. Ask for a little scoot and you'll have to wait for the boost to build before it scampers away. Ask for a lot, and suddenly the ZF9 speed transaxle has to rouse itself, rub the sleep out of its eyes, make a pot of coffee, kick the slippers out from under the bed, and shuffle off to rummage for that gear you requested. The sport transmission setting takes some of the pain out of the process, but not much. This is not my favorite automatic out there, but at least things are lively on the way up the range and the engine makes whooshy go fast sounds and gurgly exhaust noises. Top down, on the quick windy section of CA-17 coming out of Santa Cruz, the Evox direct and honest steering is an asset. This is a mountain freeway, sinuous and narrow, so the ability to place the car accurately while overtaking mid-curve is appreciated. It seems like it'd be a tippy little thing, all on a short wheelbase and with heavy convertible machinery up top but it's not. Do not assume it has transcended Newtonian physics and there's a Miata under the rover bodywork, but by all means, take a few corners hard and make your passengers giggle. Spectacle, right? If you're wondering what sort of customer might be drawn to this mini convertible on stilts in a duffel coat with a stern male model look on its face, I'll tell you, my mother. It's as if the product planners were listening, perhaps my folks condo is bugged. She has a Cooper convertible and frets that she'll have trouble packing as of yet hypothetical grand kids in it. And then there's winter, which in Seattle is as hypothetical a threat as the space these imaginary grand kids need. Even so, she's eyeing the all-weather practicality of a cube while prematurely mourning the loss of open-top motoring during Seattle's five-minute summer. The Evoc convertible is not cheap for its size, a base model starts at $52,095, which is $5,400 more than the Evoc Coupe. The HSE model we drove had $5,100 worth of active safety features tacked on, the head-up display, park assist, and adaptive crews helped push it to somewhere north of $64,000. There's a niche for everyone, if you've got the scratch. Land Rover thinks there are enough customers to justify limited production of this all-wheel drive circus with a view. It was smart to have us rolling around Monterey like billboards. The Evox rough edges disappear once the top is stowed, and what's left is both the medium and the message. More power to them, buyers and builders alike.